Nearly 100,000 people signed petition calling for end to live coverage of Trump's coronavirus briefings. And that in and of itself is insane. Why would you want the media to stop covering what the president is saying? If the president is lying, don't you think it's important? You know he's lying. You just want to plug your ears and say la 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 over again. It's not going to make him go away. There's only one reason. Well, there's actually two reasons why people do not want to see Donald Trump's press briefings aired on TV. The first is that they just can't accept reality. They don't want to hear him. They don't want to see him. They're like, no, he's not my president. I refuse to accept it. Boo-hoo. The other group of people knows that it's helping Trump because the American people are starting to break through the lies from the media. Oh, you're in for a treat today. I woke up this morning in a fairly good mood, as I usually do. And I, you know, the first thing I do when I wake up, I pull up my phone and I'm browsing through Reddit and on Twitter. And I come across some tweets and some posts. And what do I find? What's that? The media is lying again. Oh, gee willikers. See, they're lying about uh, back in early March, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, said that people were stealing masks. And now the story is that Trump is lying and presenting conspiracy theories without evidence that people are stealing masks. I have talked about this over and over again. It's what they do. They'll report a story. Trump will say, did you hear this? They're doing this thing. And then they'll immediately come out and say the exact opposite. It is insane. Oh, but there's so much more. These 100,000 people clearly are not in the majority because most people approve of the president. And I, you know, what? I, many of you may have seen this poll already, but I'm showing it now as a sort of like, I don't know, it, it's, it's cathartic a bit to rub it in the faces of all of these people who lie in the media to deceive for whatever reason for their agenda. In the past eight polls, Donald Trump has majority support. Well, I should say in seven out of the last eight polls. Donald Trump has majority support. And one of those, uh, the, the other one of that eight is a tie. So it's all still really good news for the president who's enjoying a 50.5% approval rating and a 45.4% disapproval rating in dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. Most Americans are watching what the president has to say, and they appreciate what he is doing. And it's cutting through the BS. So naturally, you've got the activists and politicians, the, polit- the politicos, not necessarily the politicians, freaking out, saying, oh, no, people are starting to realize that the orange man isn't that bad. What do we do? Shut him down or lie. They lie all the time. And you know what's happening? Because there's so much going on so fast, like the joke we the joke we were making the other day on the podcast is that like March felt like a year in and to itself. It's like March 97th. That's how many days are in this month, because so much crazy stuff has been going on. And it just it's really long, right? Well, because of this, the news cycle has no choice but to call the orange man bad on literally everything he does. Or I should say they always do that. But when the news cycle is drawn out over a month or two, they'll say a story in January and it'll say orange man likes the color blue. And then Trump will come out and say, actually, you know, I really do like blue. And then they'll come out and say blue is the worst thing a month later. So what happens is people might see the story in January, forget about it. And then a month later, see the next story, which is completely inverted. Now what's happening is because they have to say the orange man is bad every single day and Trump talks every single day, the stories are becoming a garbled mess of mishmash nonsense. Let me just give you a really, really great example. This is a story from March 6th. People are stealing masks and other medical equipment from hospitals. New York Governor Cuomo says Cuomo, who also touted the potential prospect of a hydroxychloroquine azithromycin treatment is a hero, I say, because the media says he is trying to stop these thefts. In fact, he actually says it's not just people taking a couple or three. I mean, just actual thefts of those products. I have asked the state police to do an investigation. Look at the places that are selling masks, medical equipment, protective wear, feeding the anxiety. That's right, Cuomo. Cuomo thinks that perhaps people are stealing these masks somehow, somehow stealing these masks and then selling them aftermarket for a profit. Now, Cuomo offered up no evidence. So Cuomo, without evidence, claimed masks were being stolen. My absolute favorite. This is this is is so, so glorious. Trump could help solve the mask problem. Instead, he's making baseless attacks on New York nurses. Trump is making up conspiracy theories about mask thefts instead of using the DPA to produce more. Excuse me. They're mad Trump isn't an authoritarian. And I, and I, and I mean it. They want Trump to, to invoke the Defense Production Act to force companies to start manufacturing masks. No, they don't. They're lying. You know why Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, 
Okay, he's that guy you see on TV, or if you're listening to Pandora, he pops up and he's like, my pillow is the best pillow you'll ever sleep with. And they're actually pretty good pillows, I might add. But anyway, this guy, okay, he switches his production line to start making masks. Bravo, good sir, thank you for joining the effort to help fight this pandemic. And what do they do? They make fun of him and they make fun of Trump. They don't care about those that are actually doing well. They're just crazy people who can only, it's like Tweedledee and Tweedledum sitting there laughing, orange man is bad. So when Trump, when, when Cuomo comes out and says the masks, you know, are missing, they're being stolen. And then Trump repeats similar things in the same month They call Trump a liar. But here's the best part. Vox has no choice but to admit it. Look at this headline. Trump is making, you know, baseless attacks on New York nurses. I got to be honest, Trump, I don't think ever said anything about nurses. Uh, he, he, He didn't. And they have the quote in here. And it's just an overt lie. A conspiracy theory about mask thefts. Interesting. The quote is, here's what, here's what, here's what, they're quoting Trump. And here's what the quote says. Something is going on. And you ought to look into, look into it as reporters. Where are the masks going? Are they going out the back door? How do you go from 10,000 to 300,000? And we have that in a lot of different places. So somebody should probably look into that because I just don't see from a practical standpoint how that's possible to go from that to that. And we have that happening in numerous places. Not to that extent. That was the highest number I've heard. To make sure he was understood, the president later underscored his claim by saying, I don't think it's hoarding. I think maybe it's worse than hoarding. Did he say the worst, the word nurse in there? Did he actually say nurses are stealing masks? No, he didn't. And they quote him. But of course, to Vox, it's a baseless conspiracy theory, an attack on New York nurses. These people are despicable. But I love this. Check this out. Now, if you go halfway down the article, Vox says, it is true that some New York medical professionals have admitted, as a few did to Reuters, Nick Brown and Joseph X, that they have resorted to stealing protective gear, but not to resell and not for any nefarious purpose, only so that they can keep working while protecting themselves and their patients. When you steal masks, you're stealing them from other doctors and nurses. Who do you think you're stealing the masks from? The people who would need them because you would like them more than someone else. So yes, If you have a bunch of masks and they're like, these masks are for these people and you go in and take them for yourself, that's called stealing. Did Trump in that quote anywhere say they're selling these things? He didn't. He said maybe something worse. Maybe it's worse than hoarding. It was Cuomo who said, it was Cuomo who said, I want the police to investigate where these sales are going. And look at this stuff. Vox is claiming it's conspiracy. And then halfway down the article actually saying, "Mm, actually, it's, uh, it's true. Oh, there's so much more. There's so much more for me to show you. Check out this story from BuzzFeed. As we go back to the original topic, and and I I, want to go through the fake news. These people are saying, please, please stop airing Donald Trump's press events. Oh, I'm not even kidding. Check this out. Jane Lynch. I don't know why she's uh, relevant, you know, in terms of the coronavirus, but she said, please stop covering Trump's briefings and rallies. Please, please. (laughs) Oh, so poor baby. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If you got a problem with what Trump is saying, when he speculates on something that Cuomo said at the beginning of the month, can I easily just point out BuzzFeed said this? Don't worry about the coronavirus. Worry about the flu. No, 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 no. (laughs) Uh Uh-uh. BuzzFeed was dead wrong. And this tweet is still up. How many people lost their lives because BuzzFeed and many other people were downplaying the virus? You know what? I don't think it's actually fair to say that. But I'm making a point. Everybody downplayed the virus. Initially, I did in like January 23rd. And then within a few days, I started to change my tune. But I'm not perfect either. I I am deserving of criticism in the same regard as everybody else. And Donald Trump on the 29th formed the task force. And sure enough, they said, no, no, no. Oh, don't, don't ignore it. And then now they're actually running stories. If you go to like r slash politics on Reddit, where they're saying that Fox News is worried that downplaying the coronavirus opens them up to legal liability. Are, 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 are sure. And the Washington Post is too. Washington Post on February 4th wrote a story saying, get a grip, America. The flu is worse for now or so, something like that. BuzzFeed said, don't worry about it. They put out so much misinformation early on saying, ignore it, ignore it. It's not a big deal. And you actually had people on Twitter saying, China just locked down their entire country. Are you nuts? Are you paying attention to what's going on? BuzzFeed's like, <laughs> whatever. There is a meme going around. It's a kind of a meme. It's a collage of all of these other fake news articles gobbled up with fake news about how people downplayed the virus. So, so maybe I should make sure I'm making the point. The reason why people want Trump shut down. First, they have no idea what's going on and they just believe like they have no memory. 
It's, it's, it's mind numbing to me that these people can't remember a news story that came out a week before and they believe whatever lie is put on the TV or online the next day. Cuomo says they're stealing masks for Trump conspiracy theory, but it's not all that bad. Some people are actually calling this out. This is uh, Dylan Stableford for Yahoo News. And I, I, I think uh, this is a respectable article. He says Trump Cuomo and the mystery of the missing masks. It's the same story. President Trump on Sunday speculated that New York state hospitals are running short of respirator masks to protect doctors and nurses from the coronavirus because supplies are being stolen. I, I read you this quote. How do you go from 10,000, 20,000, right? Trump did not elaborate on what gave his rise, gave rise to his suspicion, nor did Trump elaborate on who was taking them, where they were going, why they were being stolen, just that they were missing. Trump, uh, they say at a press briefing in New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo was asked to respond to Trump's comments. I don't know what that means, Cuomo said. I don't know what he's trying to say. If he wants to make an accusation, then let him make an accusation. But earlier this month, Cuomo himself said that people were stealing face masks and other medical equipment from area hospitals. Hospital officials in Boston and elsewhere have reported similar thefts. Trump was right. Hospitals in Boston and elsewhere have reported similar thefts. Is the media going to shut up? No, they're not. It's what they do. It's what they're all about. I love this one. Oliver Darcy of CNN tweets, Trump is self-isolating at Fox News, Brian Stelter reports. As the crisis has deepened and the death toll has risen, Trump's only national TV interviews have been with Fox News. You know why? The media, we must stop airing Trump's press events. How many articles popped up from these from these various outlets like the Daily Beast, NBC, MSNBC, etc., saying it's time to stop this Rachel Maddow saying we cannot show his press events. And then Trump says, OK, fine, I'll go to the one network that I actually like Fox News <laughs> or that likes me, at least. And now they're like, why is Trump only going on Fox News? Uh, because you told him to, because you literally said you were going to stop covering his events. So he was like, OK, fine. Go to Fox News. Fox seems to like me, right? That's how the fake news operates, man. According to a CBS poll, the American people trust Trump slightly more than the national media. Perhaps it was the incessant orange man bad screeching over the past several years, or perhaps it was the dozens of scandals that turned out to be fake news. I'm sorry if you've seen this stuff before, but I just want to point out that this is like, it's, a, it's, it's an emotional release. It's almost, it's therapeutic for me to show these stats. What, who do you trust and not trust to give you accurate information about the virus and what to do during the outbreak? Donald Trump has 44% trust and the national media has 43%. Oh, that feels so good. It feels good. Not because I, I, I think Trump is telling the truth, to be honest, not really. I just know that often Trump is wrong. He, he is. And I know that often he makes an, not, an irrelevant statement. He mentions maybe people are stealing masks or something. And it's like, okay, and? What else? That's fine. You can say it. I don't care. And that's that. And that's me. The media lies, though. They lie all the time. According to a Gallup poll, the approval rating for Trump is 60 percent and the media is like 44 percent. And that also makes me feel good because, you know, look, I worked for these companies. I see how the system works. I see how these people lie, how they will they will pump out contradictory articles that make no sense. I kid you not. CNBC, it, it's a different company. So CNBC, MSNBC, and NBC, I believe, are all part of the same parent, NBC. But they are different. But CNBC, is, they're the ones who reported what Cuomo said. And, and many people reported this. Okay, It was many outlets saying Cuomo says masks are being stolen. NBC right now says Trump is making it up. The Trump's baseless claim. That's NBC. And this, and this brings me back to the initial story. This is why people want Trump's press briefings removed, because they are bleating sheep who don't pay attention to the news, have no idea what's going on, and they're being led by nefarious actors who are lying. And then you end up with these celebrities who think their opinion matters. You know, I'll be honest, to an extent, my opinion doesn't even matter. But I'll tell you this, it matters substantially more than Jane Lynch's opinion. Why? Not because I'm better than her or anything. I mean, she's actually, I, I think she's actually a pretty cool actress. Uh, I like some of the stuff she's been in. That's, that's fine. But she's in a, in, in a world not unto her uh, expertise. It is not her understanding of the media or politics that she, you know, that she has expertise on. She's an actor, actress, whatever the appropriate politically correct term is these days. She, uh, she's in movies. If she wanted to talk about, you know, the, the casting, you know, how casting happens or working with an agent or how to make a proper movie or good directing, I'd be like, 
Yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea. If, if you're telling me like a certain angle would work better or something like, you know, about movies or like a better way to distribute films, literally anything having to do with movies, her opinion is way above mine. I defer to her. When it comes to politics, my opinion is not paramount by no means. But this is more of my realm, journalism and media. So no, I don't respect her opinion when she comes out and says, please shut down Trump's events. That is insane. It's wrong. Even if the president is lying, we should see what he's saying. But of course, it's the media that's lying and we can all see through it. You know what? I don't, I don't know how much it matters because admittedly, y'all are the, are the choir to whom I am preaching. And it's unfortunate, really. I don't know how else you get the, uh, the word out to people to let them know. Like, you, you can see just how insane all of this is. Let me, let me go to my Twitter. I just tweeted this one out. I said, excuse me, what the F? People are stealing masks and other medical equipment from hospitals, Governor Cuomo says, March 6th. And here's one from the 30th. Cuomo and New York hospitals reject Trump's claims. Masks going out the back door. The president offered no evidence to back his suggestion of something nefarious. Neither did Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo never gave evidence. And they said nothing. It's, it's, it's absolutely despicable. And then I highlighted the Vox thing. I just find it funny that Vox is like, it's a conspiracy theory. Now, it is true, though, but what do you mean, but? Change your headline. This is what's called grifting. It's a grifter. Vox.com knows for a fact that masks were being stolen. Okay, I shouldn't say it like that. They know Andrew. No, 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 I'm sorry. They do know for a fact. They say it's true. Reuters, people told them. Journalists know for a fact that people were stealing masks. Vox weasels their way into an inverted headline claiming it's not true and then later on saying it is true. It's truly a sight to behold. They say accusing President Donald Trump of using each briefing as a live campaign rally. The petition, which has been published on MoveOn, asks CNN, ABC, CBS, NBC, NPR, and Fox News to consider whether it is necessary to live stream the, the, uh, Trump's press briefings in full. President Trump is blatantly using the news organization's extensive live coverage to freely campaign for a second term. It is wrong and dangerous. And there they admit it. They don't actually care about misinformation. They don't care about the coronavirus. They care that Donald Trump has a direct pipeline to the American people. And when they hear what he has to say, they like it. Well, that's reality. If Trump is doing things that people like, then Trump deserves to get reelected. And y'all can go cry home and screech again like you did in 2016. If Trump says things that people don't like, and I've certainly criticized him in his response to the coronavirus, along with the media, especially. Everyone's deserving of criticism. No one's perfect. Now, Bill de Blasio gets more blame than Trump, and China gets almost all of it, to be fair. I, I, like, I, I do want to say, as much as I'll be very critical of Bill de Blasio, critical of, uh, then you know, less so critical of Cuomo. I actually think Cuomo's doing a decent job. And then less so critical of Trump. China gets almost all of it. Like on a scale of, uh, you know, China, China gets 95% of the blame and like Bill de Blasio gets 3%. I'll admit, I think he did a really bad job in New York. But if China had been honest from the get go, we wouldn't be in this mess. And everybody at the time was downplaying it. Now, de Blasio downplayed it for much longer than most other people, even the president. So, you know, I'll take it for what it is. But we can see it right here. The goal of the petition is not to stop Trump from lying or anything like that. They're just freaking out because Trump is going to win. I'm sorry. It's just reality. Even even with a new poll. OK, so I don't have a, uh, this is just his coronavirus approval rating. There was a new poll that came out that actually had Trump uh, negative, but it's still uh, he still maintained his highest uh, approval rating ever at 47.3 percent. That's general approval. So even though some people are still negative on him, and his disapproval rating is still higher than his approval rating. His approval rating is higher than it's ever been. His approval rating in dealing with the coronavirus is above water by, by 5.1 points, five points. And they're freaking out. They, they have nothing. They, they wrote an article, uh, someone wrote an article saying, stay alive, Joe Biden. And what they were claiming in the article is that Joe has nothing going for him. He's boring, low energy, and he's dissolving, but he's alive. I kid you not. They, they actually wrote this article. I'm, it's not a joke. And it said that all they need is corporeal, pre his, all they need is his co corporeal presence because people hate Trump that much. This is why they're freaking out. People are now cutting through the fake news. They're seeing what Trump has to say and they're like, eh, not bad. But when you only get every, when you get all your news filtered through the media, this is what you get. You get Andrew Cuomo, the great hero who's done the same things Trump has. Cuomo has called for reopening the economy or questioned whether it should be closed in the first place. He held off on actually shutting things down in New York during the lockdown, saying, get real. We were not going to do it. He's touted the same medication, hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, and wants to implement tests. 
And now we have him talking about stealing masks. All of these things he was never, never attacked for in the media. Trump on the exact same things has been lit aflame by the press saying he's the worst thing ever. So you know what Trump does? Trump goes and gives a press briefing and the ratings are through the roof. You know why? Americans want to know what's happening. And now the lefty activists are panicking, shaking in their boots. Oh no, Trump might win because people actually like him. Oh no. You ever, you ever think, you ever stop and realize the job of the press is to convey information. And if the press conveys what Trump says and people like it and they vote for him, that's literally how it's supposed to work. What they're saying right here is that they want to cheat. They're saying, we can't play fair, please cheat. It's what they've done the whole time with the Electoral College and now this. There's a lot more. I'll leave it where it is. Thanks for hanging out. I'll have more segments coming up later today, next at 1 p.m., and I'll see you all then.